Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting tech video. So this is the part two of this new series of the ServiceNow exam preparation, CS exam preparation rather, right? And this is the part two. So in the first part, I've discussed 10 questions with you. So if you missed that video, go and check the first part. In this part, we are going to discuss 10 more questions, right? So if you are not a subscriber of my channel, hit the subscribe button and also click on the join button to get all of the 90 questions. So if you are new in this channel, so I'm sharing 90 questions, 90 very important questions that would help you to clear your CS exam, right? Let's start it. All right, the first question, which are states that you can make a field on a form using UI policy? Which are states? So let's see the options. Okay, so with the help of UI policy, we know that we can do change of the state like we can make it read only either we can make it mandatory or we can make it hidden right in the in my UI policy video I have explained and I've shown you how to do that all of these things if you miss that video go and watch it out you will get the concept clear so the right answer would be read only mandatory and hidden all right so which of the following can be customized through the basic configuration UI 16 module so let's see the options Okay, so now how you can check that? So let me show you this. So if you click on all and if you type basic configuration, you could get the basic configuration UI 16, right? And here it is asking what are the things that you can check, change, right? So we know that banner image we can change, browser tab title we can change, and the third option would be system date format. So let's confirm it. We can change the browser manner image, right? We can change the system date format. You can see date format we can check, change. And also header background color, text color. These are options are not there. Record number format. This is something which is not present. And you can see browser tab title on the top. So yeah, this would be the three options. Banner image, browser tab title and system date format. Here we go, right? So this is how you need to practice. Let's move to question number three. What information does the system dictionary contain? What information does the system dictionary contains? See the options. Now, system dictionary means the dictionary field, right? I have explained all these things in my table and column videos, right? In my channel, again, it's available, you can watch it. So let me quickly show you if I go to any, any kind of form. So I'm in my incident form right now. Now you can see if I right click on any of these column, you can see the configured dictionary, right? So the question is what we can get from the configured dictionary what information human readable labels and language settings no there is no language settings such things are there the definition for each table and column yes that's what we get the definition of each table and column so when you're sure about the right answer then also you can check the other answers if it's if you find the very another very close one information how tables relate to each other no language dictionary used for spell checking absolutely not so the right answer would be the second one so let's go to the question number four. What is the import set table? Very, very important. Again, about import set, I have created a separate video on my ServiceNow playlist. Again, you can watch how you can use import sets for importing data and different stuff, right? All right, so let's see the options. So import set table, what is the work of an import set table? The, a table where data will be placed post transformation? No, that's not the right answer. A table that determines relationship Again, that's not the right answer. That's a different table. A repository for update set information? No, because update set is altogether different. A staging area for imported records. So we know import set table is something where whenever we put some data, whenever we add some data with the help of the load data module under import set. So staging area. So import set table is the place where it stores. So the right answer would be option three. Question number five, what is the name of the conversational bot platform that provides uh, assistance to help user obtain information, make decision and perform common tasks? Let's go to the option. I think you know the answer. Again, I have created a separate video altogether, separate series, I would say about this right answer. That is the virtual agent, right? Virtual agent is the one with the help of which you can get the information. User can get the information, make decision, get different KB article also for their help, right? If you want to know more about virtual agent, then the series, the full virtual agent series is available in my channel. Do watch it. So the right answer would be virtual agent. So let's go to the question number six. 
a group is stored in which table so the name of the group table so the name of the group table as you know the first one is not the answer sys user the second one this is the user table name sys user group profile that's not a table name so the light answer would be number three sys user group if i go here sys underscore user underscore group dot list let's see if it opens the group table you can see groups table is open so let's go back so let's go back so right answer would be number three sys underscore user underscore group right let's move on to question number seven what is the master table that contains a record for each table in the database the master table that contain each tables record here are the options and we know the right option is right i have shown you in the table video so again this thing i have explained in my table video in my service now table video so you can watch it out with the help of this let me show you all the tables of service now are stored under the sys underscore db underscore object dot list if i go you'd be able to see all the tables see all the tables are available 4748 tables so the right answer would be sys underscore db underscore object right all right let's move to the question number eight what is the way that you can mark a knowledge article for review so if you are a user so what is the way that you mark a knowledge article for review let's see the options right so on hold there is no such option on hold that you can do bookmark again it's something not available for a knowledge again available for a whole browser right if you want to save a page in the browser review is something that is i mean there is no option called review in the knowledge article module uh, but the flag article we can flag article again i have explained this in my knowledge article video in my knowledge management video so do watch it right flag article would be the right answer let's move to the question number nine what defines conditions that are evaluated against users to determine which users can create read write and return knowledge article based on what which conditions so we know that okay again i have explained this thing in my knowledge video so let's see the options user conditions is not something that is there in the knowledge uh, management in the knowledge page user info again not something which is relevant user permissions there is no such thing called permissions but there is user criteria in the knowledge module from which you can give this kind of access to a particular group of people or particular companies people right again all these things are explained in my knowledge management video if you have any doubt go and check it out so right answer would be user criteria the final question where can admins check which release is running on service now instance the options are in which module we can check let's quickly show you I have shown you this thing in my uh, again service now video so if you type stats module under the stats module you can see if i open it the version is tokyo so you can see it right so the right answer would be stats module the second one all right so this is the end of part two guys but this is not the end of the series again again in the part three i would discuss 10 more questions make sure you watch it and preparing and prepare yourself for the csa exam right again up to next part it would be available for all the user if you want all the 90 questions rest of the part from part 4 to part 7 then you need to join my channel okay there's a minimum subscription available click on the join button to get those access see you in my next video part 3 bye bye take care